people will come to you as an EFT or energy psychology practitioner for many different reasons. People might come to you for issues with sports performance, with public speaking anxiety, maybe they have persistent respiratory infections, maybe they have high levels of anxiety or PTSD or lots of depression symptoms. Whatever it might be, EFT can affect that part of their problem that is stress. And stress is a, is a component of all of those life areas. I divide those life areas into five. And this is an arbitrary kind of distinction, but it works because most people are looking for help in one of these five areas. Often we excel at one of the five areas and we really struggle with one or two of them, and the others are somewhere in between. Those five life areas are work and career, health and weight loss, money, love relationships, and spirituality. And most people have one of those areas that gives them predominant challenges, as well as being masterful, usually, at one or more as well. So EFT can help people who are struggling to improve one of those life areas. It can also take you, if you already have a high degree of attainment in a life area, at moving upward to the level of being a true master there. Often because of the generalization effect, the benefits flow into other areas. I remember one lady who did weight loss for the EFT and had a great result. She lost about 60 pounds, but she also said, you know, my skin's cleared up. I used to have all these eight outbreaks in my face and they're gone. They haven't been there since I began using EFT. What was probably happening was that as her stress level went down, her whole autonomic nervous system was regulating. She had less sympathetic nervous system activation and more parasympathetic nervous system activation. What that means usually is that your levels of inflammation go down and your levels of immunity go up. So again, more immunity, more resistance to disease, and lower levels of inflammation, which can result in things like skin rashes and facial breakouts. So she got the added benefit of skin improvements when she lost weight. She also said, I am having such a wonderful time with my husband. He hasn't changed at all, but all the little things about him that used to bother me and trigger me just don't bother me any anymore. It's like I had all these buttons he was pushing. Suddenly with EFT, I have tapped away the wiring behind my, my buttons, and he's still the same old guy, but I love him, and we're getting along so well now after I've done this. So she came to see you for weight loss, but now what she's experienced is improvement in other areas of her life. So I joke sometimes that the client's problem is of enormous benefit to them because it gets them into your office or gets them on the phone with you or gets them onto Skype or Google conferencing with you and there you work on the real problem which is often nothing to do with the presenting problem that got them in the door in the first place. So often those problems are just that which drives us to seek treatment, to seek solutions and they're valuable to us. Our problems, our griefs, our sorrows, our, our struggles are often very, very helpful to us because they force us to go and work on them. And working on those issues, you often work on others as well. One of the things that actually sometimes causes me some regret is that clients may use EFT for one area of their lives, and that's it. Recently, I met a young lady who did tapping for pain and fibromyalgia. She also had high levels of anxiety and depression. She was on medications for bipolar disorder and several other things as well. And so she described how she would used EFT and other methods as well and recovered and was no longer on medication. She was so happy. So I said, well, are you still tapping? And she said, no, I'm not really. I'm not, not doing it for anything else. So she got over the acute pain. She got over the acute issues that caused her to be over-medicated in her 20s. And then she quit. And many clients are like that. They'll, they want to reduce their pain just so much. And then they have a comfortable level of pain. And there they stop. But of course, that's the client's prerogative. You, as a healing professional, can't push them into areas they don't want to go to. So you respect those boundaries. You help people heal as far as they want to go. And at the point where they say, you know, I'm just done for now, that's okay.
So those five life areas are the main ones people use EFT for, and you will find in this course that there are many, many stories of people who use them for one of those five areas, but then they had other areas clear up as well. I've also heard several stories from doctors, nurses, psychiatrists, and hospital administrators. One typical one was from a doctor who has a large private hospital in Chicago. And he came up to me at a conference and said, Dawson, I learned EFT with you two years ago. I came to an integrated medical training with you in EFT, and I've been using it with all my patients ever since. Now, this particular doctor had only a brief time to see each patient. Often, doctor's visits are under 15 minutes. But at this particular facility, they had a three and a half hour intake with each new patient. So the new patient got this long evaluation, three and a half hours seeing the doctor or the nurse. And what this doctor was doing, he was doing EFT intensively on his patient's problems during that long three and a half hour intake. He was then finding a lot of their levels of pain and other problems were going down. And he no longer had to work so hard and his clients no longer had to work so hard at the other things because they dealt with so many of them during that first long session. So again, once you deal with even one big issue with EFT and energy psychology, all the others tend to become much shorter, much more manageable than they may have been before. And you work with people wherever they want to work. You work with them on the area they want to work on. Maybe you can suggest another area, but they will work on their own issues and grow and transform in their own time. One of the most fun issues for me to work on is money. I love working with people on money and their money blocks. And there are several stories of people who trade stocks and have found that as their anxiety goes down, the quality of their decision making goes up. When you're all stressed out and nervous about money, that impedes your ability to make good decisions. But when you're calm around money, you can make much wiser choices. You have access to all of the resources, the mental and cognitive resources you have in your brain. If you're stressed, you lose access to those. So there are lots of stories of people, for example, trading stocks successfully or making wiser retirement decisions or making wiser financial choices after they tapped away their anxiety around money. And it's a really fun way to use EFT with people. The other great thing that happens as you use EFT in these five life areas is that you remodel your whole neural network. People have ways of seeing the world and they think that those ways of seeing the world are the way the world is. But very often they're just constructs. That baby whose needs weren't taken care of that child who was neglected or perhaps abused grows up with this belief that the world is an unsafe place and that's embedded at the level of the emotional brain neurologically in circuits. It's not just in their minds, not just their emotions, not just their thoughts. It's literally the way their neural network is structured. After you tap with people, after you work on those issues, they start to develop new neural pathways. And as they're no longer seeing the world through that neurological frame, the whole way they perceive things can change dramatically. And so rather than imposing that frame on every new experience and using confirmation bias to prove to themselves, for example, that the world is an unsafe place over and over and over again, they grow a new neural network. They grow a much more positive and healthy way of seeing the world, which in turn, confirmation bias in place, produces good experiences for them that then reinforce that neural learning. So after a while, that curmudgeonly pessimist may have replaced all their neural circuits in their brain with the circuits of positivity, peace, and optimism, and see the world in a whole different way. This can dramatically affect people's long-term health and longevity. There are many studies showing that optimists live much longer lives than pessimists. One study looked at stressed people and found that stressed people live lives that are 7 to 15 years shorter than unstressed people. That's a huge difference, a huge degradation, not just of your length of life, often of your quality of life as well. So you want to learn to use EFT and apply it to all these areas. Use it however your client wants to, but encourage your client to apply it to other areas as well. Deal with a the problem they bring to you, but 
Be open to them using it in other ways as well. Be open to using it in other ways in your life. I found EFT practitioners who've had great success with EFT, maybe they're EFT expert practitioners, and yet there's some part of their life they've never applied EFT to. Make sure you leave no part of your life in suffering and limitation. Use EFT on those five areas. And what you'll find is that even parts of your life that felt really stuck, really limited, really not moving, not progressing, you might surprise yourself with real shift, change, or utter radical transformation in one of those areas. Thanks so much.